Welcome to the demonstration for the Watchdog Smart Collar Project. Watchdog is a wearable GPS device for dogs that allows users to find their pet in the event that they get lost, as well as set up virtual invisible fences. The device is controlled entirely by an Android application. The features we will look at today are Find My Dog, as well as the Geofence. The first feature we will look at is Find My Dog, in which the user can acquire GPS coordinates to place on a Google map. Here we see hardware team member Ryan Zeckman holding the device that will be used throughout the demonstration. In the event that you are unable to find your dog, simply open the Watchdog app and select Find My Dog. This will open up a Google map and start acquiring GPS data from the collar. Once the dog's location has been acquired by the collar, the information is sent to the web server where the app can acquire it and manipulate the data to place markers on the Google map. The marker will show roughly within 10 feet of where the dog was when the GPS data was acquired by the collar. We see the marker has been placed directly at the awning, right where Ryan is standing. Now we will look at the geofence feature. We will start by showing you the settings screen briefly and then creating a geofence. The setting screen is where you decide which type of notification you will receive if the dog leaves the geofenced area. Your options are Android notification, text message, and phone call. For this first demonstration, we will use Android notification. Confirm selection, and this will take us back to the home screen. Now we can go to the geofence screen, and we can see we have a few fences already listed in our browser, but we'd like to create a new one for the location we are currently at. We select Create Geofence, which opens a Google map at your current location. You can scroll to the area you would like to fence in and select Draw Points. Press on the map for the areas that you would like fenced in. We see markers denoting the vertices of the area you will fence in. Pressing Confirm Selection will show in green the new fence. You receive a text box in order to name the fence. It's difficult to see, but we name this one My Fence. After naming the fence, hit save, and this will take you back to the fence browser. We can see the new one is added, my fence. We select activate, and now this is the fence being used on the map for the acquired data. Now we will show what happens when the dog leaves the fenced in area. We bring up a Google browser to show that the Watchdog app will run in the background so other apps can be used while it's running. Ryan will now take the device outside of the fenced in area and we should expect to see an Android notification fairly shortly. Within less than 10 seconds, we do receive the watchdog alert. And if we select the alert, it takes us back to the Geofence browser. We will now show the Geofence feature again, this time receiving a telephone call as opposed to an Android notification. We go to the settings screen, select phone call, and confirm selection. We now go to the geofence, select my fence again, and activate. We place the watchdog app in the background, and now we see Ryan still outside of the fenced area. We should receive a phone call soon. When the web server receives a command that a phone call needs to be placed, it contacts another website which will generate a phone call to your phone, alerting you that your dog has left the fenced in area. We receive the phone call. Demo warning from Watchdog. Your dog has left the geo fence. This concludes the demonstration for the Watchdog Smart Collar Project. Thank you very much.